Hi friends today we are discuss about the largest variety of species to have ever been discovered. That species is Diprotodon was the largest marsupial that ever lived. Diprotodon was one of the first fossil mammals from Australia. It is also one of the most well-known megafaunas in the world. Also known as the giant wombat. The Diprotodon is a much bigger version of the modern wombat and a close relative of the koalas. It lived for about 2.6 million years and went extinct roughly 50,000 years ago. Richard Owen named the Diprotodon in 1838. The name was formed from three Latin words di, which means twice, prota, which means first, and odin. The name translates as two forward teeth. This marsupial genus was widespread across Australia during the Pleistocene epoch, especially before the arrival of humans. It coexisted with them for thousands of years before eventually becoming extinct. Like many massive herbivores of its time, Diprotodon had a heavy quadruple build and a large belly. It had a long and narrow skull with a small brain case. The top of its head was depressed. A feature seen in many other marsupials. The skull also had an unusually large nasal aperture. Scientists think they either had a large nose or a short trunk. The Diprotodon looked similar to modern wombats and koalas but was significantly larger. It had powerful limbs. With the upper limb slightly longer than the lower one. They exhibited sexual dimorphism, with the male somewhat bigger than the females. On average, the giant wombat stood at about 6 feet tall at the shoulders and were about 12 feet long. Although their mass varied. They weighed up to 3 tons on average. Diprotodon was the largest marsupial that ever lived. It is still regarded as the largest plant-eating mammal of the Cenozoic period. The marsupial had powerful 12-inch long incisors. Aside from this, many of their other cranial and dental features are similar to those of their modern cousins. The molars and premolars of the giant wombat formed a ridge that runs transversely from its cheek to its tongue. It served as a grating surface for chewing and crushing food. The protodon was a herbivorous animal. In fact, it is regarded as a mega herbivore, consuming as much as 100 to 150 kilograms of vegetation daily. The large incisors of this marsupial helped pull vegetation from the ground. It consumed mostly shrubs, leaves, and grasses. The jaws were powerful, so allowed to eat a wide range of plants, including tough, fibrous grasses. Diprotodon lived in semi-arid plains, savannas, and open woodlands, during the Pleistocene epoch. Generally, it avoided hilly and forested territories. It was prominent in certain coastal regions like the Kangaroo Island in South Australia and Narracote Caves. During the Pleistocene era, these areas were further from the coast as the sea levels were lower. New Guinea in southwestern Australia or the Northern Territory. It was present on King Island. Areas like Tambar and Cuddy Springs, Bacchus Marsh in Victoria, and Lake Calabona, are prominently known today as the most famous habitats of the Diprotodon. Bones of the giant wombat have also been found in fossil deposits representing forest, plain, and woodland habitats. The displayed fossil collection of Diprotodon at the Australian Museum features square holes made by a spear into the bone. Australian scientists believe this was the first evidence suggesting a predatory relationship between humans and the Diprotodon. There is also evidence that Diprotodon was preyed upon by the marsupial carnivore known scientifically as Thylacolio carnifex. A Diprotodon fall in bone was discovered at Glen Innes, with dagger-like teeth marks that fit the lion's description. Evidence of the teeth was found at the location, juveniles were the ones targeted by marsupial lions. Gigantic monitor lizards like Megalania and Quintana, a plus-sized Australian crocodile, may have also targeted Diprotodon juveniles. Adult giant wombats would have been too big for these predators to handle. In a cave near Wellington, around New South Wales, the first Diprotodon remains were discovered by Bushman George Rankin in the company of Major Thomas Mitchell. The remains were sent to England for scientific study. Richard Owen studied the fossils and published his findings. Earlier studies mistook the bones for elephants or mastodons. The oldest fossils are from late Pliocene deposits at Lake Kanunka in South Australia. Experts have also found complete skulls, skeletons, and hair and foot impressions of the animal around mainland Australia. 
the most detailed specimen of Diprotodon was excavated by paleontologists at Tambar Springs and displayed at the Conobarabran Visitor Centre in central New South Wales. Diprotodon is a part of the Australian Fossil Museum collection. Scientist and researcher Ludwig Leachhardt would find more Diprotodon fossils from the Bank Creeks in Queensland's Darling Downs in the 1840s. The largest specimens were around 10 feet long from nose to tail and 2,790 kilograms. One of the largest assemblages of Diprotodon fossil discoveries came from those that perished and were discovered in Lake Calabona. More than 360 Diprotodon individuals were found in this location in the 1970s. Scientists don't have accurate records on most animals that existed during the Australian Pleistocene. This has made it hard to pinpoint this marsupial's exact period of extinction. There are varying opinions about when the giant wombat went extinct. However, most agree that they disappeared during the Quaternary extinction event about 60,000 years ago. This event wiped out all land animals heavier than 100 kilograms from Australia. A handful of modern researchers argue that the extinction of Diprotodon, alongside other megafaunas of the time, began shortly after the arrival of humans on the Australian continent 50,000 years ago. Others believe that the stress of climate change triggered the extinction to occur in stages before human arrival. Generally, scientists think a combination of these three theories can explain the mass extinction of Diprotodon, climate change, human hunting activities, and drought. As climate change gradually destroyed Diprotodon's habitat, the foliage it was accustomed to disappeared. And hungry humans hunted down the remaining herd members. Extreme drought situations are also regarded as one of the biggest causes of their extinction. Many Diprotodon fossils were discovered along shrinking lakes, obviously in search of water. During these desperate migrations, many crashed through crystalline lake surfaces and drowned. Finally, Diprotodon was the largest marsupial that ever lived. That's all for today guys. We brought to you this video today. We look forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video. Thanks for watching a great video and see you next time.